hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today we have a topic for you it is 20 ways to overcome money anxiety if you are unemployed that was a mouthful but we got 20 ways so let's go ahead and get into it you ready because i'm ready number one create a budget you're like girl i already ain't got no money did you not just say unemployed yes but I'm telling you, with whatever small amount of money that you have, just be thankful and grateful for that and manage it. I have told several people this story that when I only had tithes, I only made like $20 one week and I paid my tithes, they were $2, $2. But I wanted God to, to see that he could trust me with $20 all the way up to 2 million, 200 million, okay? So you have to just budget that because when you don't have much, you need to know where every dollar is going and you gotta think twice about making purchases and decisions. Identify essential expenses. Tattoos, piercings, alcohol, cigarettes, Having a good time with your friends is not essential. I know it's essential for fun, but it's not technically essential, okay? Number three, seek support. Seek support from either your friend, your favorite cousin. Oh my goodness, sorry. Your favorite cousin, um, someone at your church, an aunt, someone because whether you want to believe it or not we all have been there some of us are not forthcoming and like to admit it but we've all been there okay more times than we would actually like to admit okay explore unemployment benefits march your happy self right down to the unemployment office or even get online on your cell phone and explore those options and see if there's anything available for you because you never know. Look for a job. Spend those eight to 10 hours a day because the more hours you put in looking for a job, the faster it will come. If you don't put in the hours and the work, it's not gonna come that fast. Not at all. Develop some new skills while you're waiting because the more skills you have, the more money you can and will make. So, uh, learn some new stuff on YouTube. YouTube is free. So, you definitely can learn new skills on YouTube because I know I have. Also, Google has certificates that you can, you know, obtain. So, and then also on TikTok, there's lots of creators that are saying how you can get in tech without a degree. So definitely look up those people. They even have playlists. So stay positive and stay in the game. Also, practice mindfulness. You got to keep your mind positive while you're going through this little tr transition. It's going to storm in everybody's life. It just depends on if you just came out of a storm or it's your turn to go through one. I just came out of a storm, so thank God for that. And it's not raining anymore. And now with age and wisdom, I know it can forever rain. It can forever be like this. Limit new consumption. Limit. Because if you're already unemployed, only have a little bit of money, amount of money and or no money, then we don't, we don't want to add anything else to the equation. We want to just maintain what we have and that's it. You might have to do some meditation. You might have to do some prayer, do some long walks, uh, draw, color, play games on your phone, listen to music, take naps, do yoga, stretch something but we don't need to add anything else that costs us green dollars create a budget routine and you're like girl listen if you have something in place when those big dollars come it's gonna flow if you don't have anything in place if everything is out of order and that big money come what are you gonna do you're gonna ball out 
you're gonna be like oh yes i'm about to head to the store and get this get that i'm about to head to the club i'm about to go get tatted up i'm about to go get a piece and chain i got all out of character so create a budget and a routine so that when that money does come you will already have something in place to how you are going to do things because i'm telling you when you've only had small amounts of money for so long and then some large money come it is natural to be excited and to wild out okay i'm telling you set some small goals each week because it's like eating a big cookie you cannot force one big cookie in your mouth you can't you have to bite it unless you have a huge mouth and none of us does. You bite it and bite it and bite it and then you ate a new cookie, the whole cookie. Volunteer. I'm telling you, the more you volunteer, the more you are of service while you need something, God will bless you more and it's gonna happen faster because you're taking the focus off yourself and you're focused on others and then God can focus on you. I'm not telling you anything that I have not experienced firsthand. I'm telling you about 10, no, about 15 years ago, maybe a little bit longer than that, I was unemployed. I used all of my talents to be of service to other people and people just could not understand why I was doing so much. And I was like, I know the Bible, I know God. The more I do for other people, the faster he's gonna bless me. And guess what? He did bless me. I got a job, the job I wanted. Focus on what you can control. You can control you and what you do, what you say, how you act, how you respond. Always keep a positive mindset, no matter what you're going through, because guess what? It can always, always be a lot worse. Always be a lot worse, okay? And there is somebody that's doing way worse than you. So you're just gonna be thankful and grateful that you have the activities of your hands, your eyes, you will walk up in your right mind. You have a roof over your head. Like there's so many things to be grateful for. Practice gratitude and more things will start to happen faster because God sees you. He knows your heart. But if you allow your emotions to get to you and you just lash out, that's not going to be right. That's not going to be a good thing. And once that happens and then you calm down, you've got to now redact those statements. So in order for that not to happen, let's just go ahead and be mindful. We have to speak ourselves into a different position than what, than what we're in right now. You've got to darn near be delusional about your situation because I used to be delusional about two to four years ago. And guess what? I'm right here where I wanna be. When I was delusional, this is what I prayed for. This house right here, the cars, plural that I have in the driveway. I was delusional two to four years ago. I had a negative bank account. I couldn't afford nothing. <laughs> I think I was borrowing money from my mom. Now she borrows from me. So I'm saying all that humbly that you've got to be delusional. You've got to keep a positive mindset and you've got to know this is only temporary. It's not forever. It's not. It, think about it. It can't rain forever. Even in the Bible, it rained, what, 40 days, 40 nights? But after that, it stopped raining. So that's the same thing. And our storms in, in the physical realm don't even last that long. They don't. I get really passionate about this, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. Limit comparison. Don't worry about what somebody else is doing and what it looks like on social media because before you know it, they will be on the shade room or somebody will be posting about how they were lying about their lifestyle, how they were just straight capping. So just focus on yourself. Network. Let everybody know what you have available whatever talents you have let them know so that they can share with others and then they can get you some help or some work i've said it earlier but create positive affirmations there's lots of videos here on on not tiktok on youtube about positive affirmations elena i can't think of her last name but type in money affirmations by elena she has a lot a lot and they work 
I'll link them down in the description box, but they absolutely work. Last but not least, engage in physical activity. It's going to help you burn some endorphins. It's going to help you feel better, release some stress, release some pressure, some sort of physical activity. It is really, really good for us. Last but not least, officially, limit your spending. You've got to limit it because if you get down to bare bones and length in your pocket, that is not a very good thing. Okay, we don't need depression. We don't need anything else with D's to start to sync up in our minds. Okay, that's all I got for you. Leave me some comments down below. I know I got too passionate in this video this time, but I'm so passionate about this subject because I was just in this situation four years ago, if not a little bit less, and I still remember exactly how it feels. Now I have my dream job, my dream cars, and my dream house. So I'm telling you, I don't wanna get emotional. I don't wanna get any of that in this video because I already said that this was it. But stay positive, people. I will see you in the next one, bye.